Hi, in today's video we're going to go through the basics of working with mocaps in Maya. So I have uh, Maya open here and I have two models which I downloaded from the internet. And how you can go about this is simple. First of all, once you download these models and you uh, bring them right inside Maya, and let's say you want to position them, and once you try positioning them and play the animation, you see it goes back to where to the origin point. This is not a problem because Maya doesn't understand where this is supposed to go to. So how do we fix this? It's quite simple. First things we need to do is we need to go to our rigging tab and create a locator. Actually, we're going to create two locators and I'll bind the parent, the, the, parent, the zombie to the first locator and the SWAT to the second locator. And how parent this is, first of all, I'm going to select the zombie heap and I'm going to hold down uh, the control and select the locator two, the locator one, and press P on my keyboard. Then I'll do the same thing for the SWAT. Then the next thing we need to do is I'm going to select the locator one, which is the zombie. Press the enter key and rename it as zombie. And for the locator two, I'll do the same thing. Now, since we have this uh, properly parented to these locators, I can now move the SWAT to a point. I can also select the zombie and position the zombie where I want it to be. And for this tutorial, we're going to rotate the zombie facing the SWAT like it will in uh, a game. And now when we press the play button, we see that it's properly positioned where we want it to be. Now you can do every form of translation with this. You can make the zombie smaller to give a kind of feel to it. You can make the zombie bigger as well. Let's position this backwards a bit. To give this feel to it so whatever kind of translation you want to give to this uh to what your scene is supposed to do you can do that so one other thing to keep in mind when working with mocaps in maya is if you want to alter a certain motion that comes with the mocap it's advisable that you do that with the animation layers how you can assess the animation layers is quite easy so let's say i'm selecting the swat right now I'm selecting the SWAT spy and I come over to the channel box and here on the animation layer, this is the display and here's the animation layer. Here you're going to see four different icons. This is to move uh, up, this is to move the layer down, this is to create an empty layer and this is to create this other one is to create a layer with a selected object. So I'm going to click on this to create a layer with the spine which I just selected from the SWAT soldier. Okay, so now I have this selected. What I'll do is on frame zero, let's say I want to alter this animation which I have here. On frame zero, I want to uh, rotate this character. I want to rotate the spine to this point. And let me actually tap S to create a keyframe. And I'm turning auto key on, so I don't have to do that all the time. And I'll move over to say 16 and I'll position him like this. And I'll move over to say 24 and I'll bring him down like this. Okay, so let me move this to frame 12 so we can have an even distribution. So when I play this, you would see that our character now moves to this point into this point. Now this doesn't destroy the initial animation that happens. The initial animation is this. So you use the weight slider, you use the weight slider here to actually slide between the animation layer which contains the animation for the bone which was selected earlier and the base animation which we have. So from this you can actually slide your weight 
from uh, this to this other one. So if we move to about this frame, we have him pointing there. We can position this and make a key here. And at frame eight, we want to revert down to our original animation and key this as well and actually this should be on frame 6 and on frame 12 we may want to go back to our original uh, to our animation layer and do that there so if let me crop this down a little bit so we can see what we're doing so if i go back and play this we can see this motion happening there so this is pretty much the basic things you need to know about working with mocaps in Maya. If you have questions about this or comments, please put them in the comment box below. Like this video if you like it. Share this video if you want someone to see what you've just seen. And don't forget to subscribe because there's more.